Hello, I'm Carol. I'm a portrait and action photographer in southeastern Wisconsin, and I shoot all mirrorless cameras. Today was my first day with my GH3. That's what's here in my hand. You can see I won't even put it down. I'm so excited to have it. I had some first day new camera issues, and I thought I'd share them with you. First off, it feels great in my hand. There's actually a, a big enough place to put my thumb. I don't have a gigantor hand, my husband does. He may still struggle a little bit with this, but compared to the GH2, there's a lot more real estate for thumbs. And I love this part of the new grip. It's just, it's deeper, and I, I, I'm liking it a lot. I took myself on a little photo journey today. Uh, locally, I, I didn't go more than two miles away from home, maybe even only a mile. And I shot what I would call default. Before I left, I did very little setup or changing to the way the camera came out of the box. Uh, in the name of disclosure, I shot three lenses today. I shot the 12 to 35, and that's the lens you're watching me through right now. I shot this, which is the 35 to 100 f2.8, and I also shot the 45 to 200 because I'll be using that for some sports that are coming up in about a month, and I felt like I just wanted to get started capturing images and learning how the lens responds. So one of my first reactions when I was going to do those setups was, who moved my controls? S other than this, this and this are all different. Um, this is where the burst rate in single, so the, the motor functions are. Um, here is where my white balance and my ISO and my exposure comp, those used to be back here. So I did have a few little, ooh, the controls are moved, where's this, where's that? It didn't take real long to figure out how the camera was arranged. I did need to alter my focus mechanism. I like to use the 23 area focus for autofocus and it took me a moment to figure out where that was now and how to change it because that's a little different too from my GH2. Something I took a few moments out and did and I highly recommend. At least if you have a tablet, I have an iPad. Oh, I just knocked it. Oh, you can see my jealous skin, but there's my iPad. I have the, uh, the mini if you have one, put the PDF file on there. It is a more extensive set of uh, documentation than what comes in the little booklet, so it's better. And if you've got it electronically, it's searchable and it's much easier to use. I used that to find just those couple things that I was struggling with. I found them very quickly, got myself set up so that I could hit the road and do my, my shooting testing. It really took a very little time searching in that PDF to find the few things I needed and get set up. So there were some things that I was looking for and one of them was the autofocus speed. With all three lenses, it was lightning fast. I was really happy about it. I didn't shoot that many truly moving targets. I was doing a lot more landscapes. I live in a place called Big Bend, and that's because there is a big bend in the river. So I went and shot the big bend in the river and the water moving. So nothing really challenging in that regard, but I was impressed with how fast I could autofocus with all three lenses, even the 45 to 200, which of the three lenses on the GH2 is the slowest to autofocus. And I thought it was really easy to shoot video. That was my other thing. I'm going after making hybrid e-products. And so I wanted to know how fast it was to shoot between the two. And basically, with this finger for the shutter release and my thumb back here on the video, I was able to shoot, 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 video, and stop video and shoot, shoot, shoot. I even took some still frames during my video shooting, and although they are small, like only two megabytes, 
They're nice little files. I was impressed with the quality and the look of them, which gives me some ideas and some hope for getting over my what if I shoot video and I really need a still at that moment fear. And I do have that fear and that's a subject for another entire post. So my initial impression is that the GH3 feels like a grown-up version of the GH2. I can't wait to shoot more with it, so I was really encouraged by my experience today. What's next for me? I want to go through the menus and do a few more setups, get away from some of the defaults, and then do some comparison back to the images that I captured today. I want to experiment with some of the features. I didn't do a lot with the scene modes or the creative on the GH2, and I want to take the time to learn them, to use them, and maybe to let them spark my creativity so that I use them more as I go forward. And this has wireless, which has some enormous potential. I haven't touched it yet. Like I said, I've only had it for a day, and yesterday I didn't even really get to shoot. So um, the last thing I'm going to do next is to be ready. Tomorrow evening, I'm doing a volunteer shoot for our local chamber of commerce for a ribbon cutting. It will be an awesome opportunity to exercise the camera in real life conditions with real subjects, uh, people moving around, action, the ribbon cutting itself. I do want to capture video as well as stills because I'd like to make a little hybrid e product to give to the chamber to share on their website. So tomorrow night should be just really interesting. And it is my intention then to continue these posts about my experience with this brand new camera. I can't promise I'll get to it every day, but I will try to do this as often as I can so that you can have a peek into my experience with the camera. I would love to entertain your questions. So email me. I usually put my email address in the blog portion of the post. On the Discover Mirrorless site, right up there somewhere, one side or the other, there's a, a subscription place. Do subscribe so that you get all the latest and greatest out of discovermirrorless.com. I blog for them as well as for Small Camera Big Picture. Subscribing there too would be just awesome. And if you do a thumbs up, a like, a plus one on, G on Google, I really appreciate that. It lets me know that I'm heading in the right direction and giving you what you want. Look forward to hearing from you, and until next time, shoot lots, remember the video, and keep dreaming.